I'm a car enthusiast, and one of the most frustrating things about being a car enthusiast is buying a new car. There's a million things you can do before buying a car, but here are five important things you should do when you're buying a new car. Number one, avoid shopping for cars when you need a new car. You find the deals when you least expect them. And if you're hunting for a car and you really need a car, chances are you're gonna get something that you didn't really want. You don't notice that you've made a mistake until a month or two down the road when you realize, man, I really should have waited for that interior, that color, that engine spec, that transmission. Get what you want. And the best way to get what you want is to not have a timeline. Number two, this is a big one and this is something that I personally follow. Pay cash for cars. Car loans are a bad idea. You're paying interest on a depreciating asset. So even if you pay cash for the car, chances are you're still gonna lose money on that car. But now you're losing more money on that car because you couldn't afford it to begin with. My rule of thumb is that when you buy a car, you should have twice the amount of cash to pay for that car. So if you're buying a car, you should be able to, out of pocket, pay for two. Keep in mind, things that add up fast, taxes, titling fees, registration, insurance, People overlook these things and they tend to be thousands of dollars. So you can't just take your purchase price at face value. Number three, always car facts the car. You don't want surprises. And the worst thing that can happen is you think you found the perfect car, you end up looking at it and realizing that it's been in an accident. But more likely than not, the owner of the car didn't know that something that happened to this car is actually important. I find that a lot of people aren't very knowledgeable about cars. And that means that when you're asking questions, they don't know that they should disclose certain things because to them, that's just a thing that happened. So you wanna get all the facts, you wanna understand what really happened to the car. You wanna just, when you, when you get a car fax, you wanna see something that's really standard. You wanna see where it was imported just to be sure that it's actually a US car. Uh, you wanna be sure that it has the right amount of owners, that this person's telling you the truth. Basically, you're just doing a background report to make sure that you're getting all the facts. Number four, unless you know exactly what you're doing, never buy a salvage title. Now, in some states, it's not a big deal to get a salvage title. In Massachusetts, it's really difficult to, to register and title a car with a salvage title. And not only that, it diminishes the value of the car. So maybe it looks great, maybe all the work was done perfectly, but the reality is a salvage title is a big red mark on the car. If you know what you're doing and you're buying a salvage car as a project car or you're using it as a parts car, that's another story entirely. And number five, use your judgment. Don't feel pressured by a seller. You're the one who's paying the money. Check the market, see what other cars with similar specifications and miles and condition are going for, and try to understand if what you're about to pay is a reasonable price. Do you wanna live with this car? Are you prepared to live with these problems? Are you prepared to put money into something that you're driving, or do you want something that's turnkey? I could talk about this all day. This is what me and my friends do in our spare time. We're basically just perusing Craigslist and cars.com and just looking for deals. So good luck buying your car. Ask questions below if you have specific uh, things that you want to know about um, if you're looking for a car right now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.